What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Sakina, and I'm back with another review. This is my review for the Red Housewives of Miami. This is season six, episode 12. So let's go ahead and get into it, right? So it is swim week, and you have Julia and Kiki, in which we know are preparing for this week. Julia is actually closing the show that she's doing, and that's a big deal because she hasn't been on the runway in 24 years, and she did say it's like riding a bike. So she's getting back into the groove of it. But, um, you know, since... Martina had her diagnosis, you know, that kind of put a lot of her plans on pause, but she's getting back into the swing of things. And I'm very excited for Julia. She has a nice body. She still looks good. And I'm excited to see how she does on her runway. Now, going over to Kiki, she's working with a swim line that she's been wanting to work with for a long time. She's very excited. It's been a minute since she's been doing a runway show. So, she is trying to get back out there in that aspect too. Now, she gives us a little background about Haiti and coming up, she said she was really tall and slim and everybody always suggested that she should be a model. And she said once she started to take pictures and them being a little risque or whatever, parents always think in Haiti that it resorts to porn. So, that wasn't a good look and they end up kicking her out at the age of 15 and she had to stay on friends couches and she was working at uh burger king i mean maybe that's the reason why she had that whopper in her bag last season but she really felt neglected and that her family left her behind i wonder how the relationship with them are now i don't know if her mother is still alive but she did mention that it was her dad and her stepmom that kicked her out and I'm also curious to know when she came over to the States because she said from Haiti, she landed in Miami and, you know, her modeling career started with swimwear. So I don't know. I definitely am interested in getting to know Kiki a little bit more. Um, she does have an interesting life and I, I, I want more. So she's going to invite the girls out um, to her party and things like that. But her and Julia, they're the models of the group so i can't wait to see them do their thing so we see gertie and russell they're out having dinner and they're discussing you know the second surgery she feels like she's taking two steps forward and four steps backwards and she's just like she's tired she doesn't want to go through all of this she doesn't want to do the second surgery and if the second surgery doesn't go well then that's when they have to discuss you know removing her breast and chemotherapy and all these things so she's just overwhelmed with a lot of information and she doesn't want to have to go through all of this because she did think that she was in the clear so that's understandable but russell was trying to tell her like no you need to do what you need to do because at this point it's invasive so you have to take the proper steps to prevent it from spreading and getting worse than it already is so you can tell he's frustrated with her pushback and she's just overwhelmed and she doesn't want to hear all of that so Again, we are glad that Gertie made it to the other side of this thing and is okay now, but it's definitely a lot. And she looked really good in this thing, though. I will say that. Did y'all hear somebody during the conversation saying, Russell, Russell, Russell? Did y'all hear that? I was like, was that production? Who was that? Lisa is house hunting and she's going through this house and, you know, she's liking what she sees she really doesn't like the size of the kids rooms because they're leaving this mansion and their rooms are really big but you know she said thus far this is the best house that she's seen and it is a five million dollar house now she doesn't know what type of offer she's gonna make because that is a pending situation uh her and lenny they have things to sort out and all of that will be um confirmed in a settlement now according to jody because jody is there too he said that there was a deal between the two of them that seemed to be going well and then at that point uh they had things kind of went left and then the deal was a house and all these things but because of their communication things are now on the rocks again and lisa feels like lenny likes to dangle a carrot but she really does need his support because they have children together. I mean, we just gonna have to stay tuned. So it's the day of the runway shows and Dr. Nicole, Adriana, and somebody else is there too. Somebody else was there, but they're all at Kiki's event 
And Adriana comes in and tries to give Dr. Nicole a hug. And she was like, I don't even really know if I want to hug you right now. So she was like, come on, let's just get straight to it. Um, I definitely felt some type of way knowing that there was some ulterior, mo ulterior motive of you inviting Anna. And they do the flashback of Julia actually telling Dr. Nicole that, yes, Adriana did know about the financial issues that Alexi and Todd had. You know, it didn't come out, but it could have. It really was the whole reason why Anna was invited in the first place. So Adriana apologizes to Dr. Nicole and she was like, I apologize. Basically, if I wasn't being honest or if I wasn't being transparent, something she said, she put an if in there. And I was like, hold on, wait. Girl, what do you mean? If you purposely left that out because you wanted to be messy, that's what it was. And so Adriana was like, and so Kiki was like, well, yeah, you know, you got to clean this up. And then in walks the bros. So the bros get there. I don't know if I said that in my last one or not, but the bros get there and Dr. Nicole is like, yeah, we got some things to discuss. And you know, Alexia seems open to it. She wants the bros, Adriana and Nicole to all for a talk, but not today because they're actually at Julia's event. I don't know why I thought they was at Kiki's event. And Gertie was the other person that was sitting with them. But yeah, Alexia is open for it. She wants all four of the ladies to sit down and talk. And then Marisol is like, in her confessional, I mean, you want to talk about the truth. What truth? There's the truth, and then there's your truth. Marisol just wants to stay mad, y'all. She just don't like Dr. Nicole. And like I said, when she made up with her when they went to Palm Beach, yes, it's definitely because her and Alexia were on good terms. So anyway, um, Julia rock, walks the runway, and she looks great. Kiki says she wished that she had a little bit more skimpy in her outfit but she did look good and julia was very proud of herself because you know she's 50 years old and she's ripping the runway and that's a really good thing to do i think my only concern was she looked like the only older woman is it me was i the only one who just realized that because i thought the agency that she was with was you know inclusive and that the fashion show would be inclusive but it just looked like julia and a whole bunch of younger girls I don't know but yeah she did a good job so now i think kiki is walking in the same building i don't know if that's how swim week works they do different shows in the same building but yeah she's telling the girls to you know come to her show and they have like a little intermission you know okay so during this intermission this is where they decide to have the conversation about the mama Cita party and nicole bringing anna so yes she knew that Anna was going to be there, but Adriana was the one who brought her there. She didn't know that there was any drama between the ladies. But, you know, the bros are just airheads, and they're so adamant that it was a setup and felt like Nicole should have put them first before Anna. Y'all would not do the same thing for Nicole. Like, cut the crap. Y'all literally would not. If that's what y'all wanted to do, then y'all would do it. So I don't understand why y'all feel like she has to have this blind loyalty when it comes down to y'all, when y'all been giving her hell since her first season. Like, what the hell are we even talking about? So Dr. Nicole is annoyed because she feels like the girls are never giving her the benefit of the doubt. So then you see Lisa and Larsa, they joined the group. And Larsa was like, so Adriana, what was the purpose of you bringing Anna? I said, thank you. Somebody just being direct with it. And Julia joins too. So Adriana says that she brought Anna because she has some things to say about Alexia's finances. And so Alexia's like, you brought her to tell lies about my husband because you mad at some shit that I said to Lisa? And then production asked Lisa, how does it feel that Adriana had brought Anna, you know, in, in in honor of her and defending her? And Lisa is eating it up, of course. But like I said, you can believe that all you want, but Adriana did not bring Anna there because of the things that Alexia said to you in a judgmental way. Because one, she did not say it in a judgmental way. And two, Adriana just doesn't like Alexia. So she wanted to have something to go against her with. That's all it was. It had nothing to do with Lisa. Adriana is just saying that to look like a good person and look like it was coming from, you know, a better place than where it actually came from. 
So the situation didn't even go as explosive as I thought it would. You know, Alexia said what she said. And at that point, they just moved forward with it. The bros, you know, squashed the situation with Dr. Nicole. And that was pretty much it. It wasn't anything lingering. I feel like it was going to be a bigger situation than what it is. But Dr. Nicole did admit that Anna did have some things to say about Marisol, you know, with the conversations that they had, but it was just more so in a place of, you know, watch out for her. And even still, Dr. Nicole is still going to watch out for her because at the end of the day, Marisol is not your real friend. I feel like Alexia was trying to get on the right track with her. And I feel like Marisol was doing that only because Alexia was. But the fact that they were so adamant about her coming after them, it is like, girl, you need to be side eyeing all of them. The bros and Adriana. Adriana for letting you go down like that in the bros because they really have a hard on for you. Dr. Nicole also left too because she has the Stanley Cup that she has to attend. She said that they bought tickets before they knew about Kiki's show. I said, well, why wasn't that communicated? Because I really feel like some of the girls are not going to show up for Kiki and that's going to really hurt her. Like, I, I'm sensing that. I sensed it last week and now with Dr. Nicole not making it, I feel like a few of the other girls are not going to be making it either. Okay. So they did end up making it to our show. I was just so worried. I, I don't know. The way that production had positioned it, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if they're going to make it to our show. But everybody made it with, uh, with the exception of Dr. Nicole. Why was they playing Kiki with the outfits? Because I'm like, this not cute. This isn't cute either. I would rather her have on a bikini or something that just really speaks to swimwear. I know swimwear is more than just bikinis, but she has a really nice body. She's beautiful. I don't understand why they didn't give her an outfit that really resembled swimwear. What she got was beachwear. I want to see her in swimwear. I just, uh -uh. was I the only one feeling some type of way about that? So after Kiki's um <clears throat> show they all get in a sprinter van there's traffic and because of the traffic a lot of the girls get off and go home and this is making kiki feel some type of way because the after party was set up for them should she have mentioned that to them absolutely but <clears throat> like kiki said she always shows up for the girls and she really wanted to do something for them you know she really wanted them to be there and she's feeling some type of way about it Adriana and Julia were the only ones that stuck around. And that is sad. I feel very bad for her because I know she she really wanted all of them to be there. So, uh, I don't know, the next day or the next scene, we see that Alexia shows up to Julia's farm. And Alexia really doesn't like animals, insects, reptiles. She ain't really feeling that. So, I wouldn't be feeling it all like that either. Um, I do love animals, but I don't like farm animals. I just don't. I don't. They're dirty. They're stinky. I just don't. Mm, I don't care about goats, pigs, roosters, chickens, cows. Baby, count me out, okay? I don't know parts to that. But they uh, went into our house and they had a conversation. They're actually going to Mexico City uh, for the cash trip. And there's a figure... Her name is Guadalupe, and that's who Alexia saw when Frankie was going through um, his recovery, and she feels like that's where she wants to visit. She wants to take Gertie, you know, with her uh, cancer journey and all of that. She does feel like she's going to be okay, and she wants to take um, Gertie to this woman. And um, Julia was like, well, where were you last year? Like, why did I discover you last year? And it was cute because we know that they did know each other. They just didn't get along. So I'm excited to see what their trip is going to be like. Did they take a trip last year? What was their season trip last year? Because I can't remember. Don't really feel like talking about Larsa scene, but her markets are doing their podcast. And before they start, Alexia calls to invite her to Mexico City and... When she went to go pick up the phone, she was like, Alexia's calling us. No, she's not. She's calling you. I don't know why you're saying us. And they're going to be gone for five days. And Alexia's like, is that going to be enough for you, Marcus? He don't give a damn. I feel like this is all Larsa putting 20 on 10. He said he's going to be 
in Paris for Fashion Week. So he ain't really stunting her going, being gone that long. That's all her. So, yeah, I mean, they talked about having kids, the age gap. And then with having kids, she said that she did egg retrieval with the Kardashians and she got 11 eggs. So, I don't know. Maybe they'll have kids. Maybe not. So, Gertie has us in our feelings um, again. You see she's with Russell and her youngest son. They're playing cards. And then she gets a FaceTime call from Alexia. And she wants to know how Gertie is doing. You know, she just got out of her second surgery. And she said that she took a test that determines whether or not the cancer can return. And she scored a 29 out of 100. The ideal goal is to score 25 to be in the clear. And because she scored 29, then now she has to go into chemotherapy. And, you know, she's just not prepared for that. She didn't want that. And she's emotional about it. And Alexia is like, you know, I'll keep you in my prayers. You're going to be okay. Uh, I wanted to invite you to Mexico City. I want you to, you know, see this saint that I've seen while I was there. I was very intentional in choosing this place because... This saint helped me with Frankie, and you know she knows that it'll help um, Gertie too. So Gertie is like, she's gonna try to make it, but because there's so many obstacles, and you know you just never know, she's just she'll just have to see. So it was another emotional scene from Gertie, but I kept it in. I kept it in as much as I could. So Adriana, she's in the studio and. She's getting ready to do this song with Emilio Esteban, right? Now, the song was originally made for um, the lead singer. What's her name? Camille Cubano or something like that. She used to be on with Fifth Harmony. Um, the song was originally for her. The song sounds really cute. It's a Spanglish song, and Adriana is very excited. But I was extremely distracted by that early 2000s-inspired outfit that she wore. Girl, I don't care if it's Louis V. You look a hot-ass mess. I don't know what's up with the pieces that she's been choosing, but no ma'am, absolutely not. I was not feeling that, but I did like the song. So she was telling him, telling Emilio that she is getting ready to go to Mexico City and did he have any connections out there? He was like, yeah, this will be good. You know, you can reach an international audience. And we flash forward to the Mexico City trip and she's actually going to be performing at Pride. So. We'll see how that goes. It looks like it's going to be a very interesting cash trip. I do think it's funny that Beverly Hills and Miami, they have they started the same at the same time and they're both going on their cash trips at the same time. But I'm very excited to see this cash trip and how it goes. I know I was asking earlier if they went on a cash trip last year, but they did go to the Bahamas. So Mexico City it is. And we just going to see how the girls get down. Anyway, let's Go ahead and get in the comments and discuss this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.